A popular women's clothing retailer announced the closing of all of its 650 stores. Monica Guy has reaction from shoppers. Bill Dress Barn stores are open for now, but that could change at any time. The company's CFO cited financial difficulties when the announcement came that 650 stores nationwide will be closing, including the 58 in New York, 29 in New Jersey, and 19 in Connecticut. Oh, really? No, no, no. <laughs> Disappointed shoppers rushed to take advantage of markdowns before it's too late. Well, I was upset. I had a gift card I needed to use up and I wanted to get in here before the liquidators come in and jack the prices up. <laughs> I'm very upset. It's the only place I shop. I don't know where I'm going to go. And I have a $10 off certificate. So I want to find something expensive. We asked an expert in the apparel industry what's behind the decision to close Dress Barn. And we weren't surprised when he started talking about a huge shift in shopping habits. Dress Barn, um, depending on, I guess, who you are, uh, you could look at it as an organization that didn't necessarily move forward with the millennials, didn't necessarily move forward with the uh, advent of, of online. Um, not only is the advent of the internet been very important, but the advent of curated buying, um, buying services, buying clubs, et cetera, all of which were not around but 10 years ago have uh, eaten into the brick and mortar business. Dress Barn was founded in Stamford, Connecticut in 1962. Its parent company, the Asena Group, says it will shift more of its focus on other brands like Ann Taylor and Lane Bryant. Dress Barn employs 6,800 people. The company said in a statement it will provide transition assistance during the wind down. I love it. It's a great store. I'm sad that it's going out. Dress Barn also said it's not changing its policies on coupons, gift cards, or returns, and purchases made online or using the Dress Barn credit card will be honored. Reporting for Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy. Bill? Thanks, Monica. All right, let's bring in tonight's A Plus panel. We're joined by Jeanette Hoffman, Republican strategist. Great to see you, Jeanette. Thanks, Bill. And Bill Caruso, Democratic strategist and attorney. Good to see you, Bill. Hey, Bill. Let's we'll start with you, Jeanette. Um, dress barn. Uh, this does not yeah. come as a huge surprise to me. I think it's going to, uh, it's obviously it's going to cost people jobs. It's going to yeah. be difficult for people that shop there regularly, rely on a, you know, a discounted wardrobe. But are you surprised? No, I'm not. Unfortunately, a lot of these brick and mortar stores are closing because they can't keep up with the trends or they can't keep on with online retailers. You know, we just heard, I guess, a month ago, Payless shoe stores, they're going out of business too. So I think we're going to just, unfortunately, keep seeing more and more of it. Bill, this seems to be a trend across the country. You see malls are closing. These guys are closing nationwide, not just in our area, but you're talking about more than 100 stores in our area. Uh, I feel for the displaced employees, but, uh, you know, it, it's like this shrinking group. Does any, do any of these retailers survive over the next 10 years? I mean, you get free shipping on Amazon. <laughs> well, and I think that's that's part of it, right? Online retail retailers have made it so convenient and, and inexpensive to shop from your couch, right, while you're watching TV or something like that. Right. Um, but I also think you look at sort of where work is these days. I mean, I, I was out this morning and I was one of the few guys wearing a tie at a, at a public event. Um, and ladies, your, your attire gets more amorphous as the day goes on. And Be careful. More people wearing jeans, but not as many the dresses. Yoga pants. Like, where are you going this is about there? Yoga pants? I don't know if it's gone to yoga pants yet, but it's certainly gone to jeans at work. It's yeah. gone to you know khakis. It's gone to um, a lot less formal attire, and so therefore probably not as many dresses, right? How bad is it going to be for the next whatever that company is that's a few miles from the big mall? Oh, it's going to right. be bad. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't see a lot of retail shops staying in business much longer. I think retail is kind of a thing of the past. I think it's bad for the taxpayer. All right. Thank you, guys.